Hey guys, it's Susie here, and this is the Inspirationist third episode. All uh, right, well, that, that's awkward. I was supposed to have clapping, but whatever. Anyway, today is either Valentine's Day or Single Awareness Day for some of you. But what better way to celebrate it than The Walking Dead? <gasps> and comics titled The Walking Dead were written by Robert Kirkman, who was born in rural Kentucky, and while it didn't inspire his post-apocalyptic world, it did add a distinct southern culture to the shows and the comics. He pointed out how a lot of zombie movies either took place in LA or New York, and he wanted to interpret how average middle-class Americans would try to survive. Having done a lot of research on World War II, Kirkman found this time period to be the only one comparable to living in a modern apocalyptic setting. As he told Rolling Stone magazine, I looked into that stuff to get a sense of what it's like when people are pushed to their limits. Kirkman felt that the zombie genre as a whole was not achieving its greatest potential. Through The Walking Dead, he took the idea of a zombie apocalypse in a direction he felt it needed to go in. His walkers are actually modeled after Romero zombies, as in George A. Romero, creator of Night of the Living Dead. These zombies eat everything that is a living organism, spread infection through biting, and can only be killed through extreme brain trauma. Meaning they have to be shot in the head. The moral of the comic is to be thankful. It's a portrayal of everyday things that Kirkman wanted to depict. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today at The Inspirationist and for all of you back at home. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I just wanted to let you guys know that if you know something that I didn't about The Walking Dead, or if I didn't cover anything, go ahead and comment below or message me to include it in a future video. And also, since I was talking about, you know, commenting, comment below, subscribe to me, like my Facebook page, follow me on Tumblr, I'll include all of my social medias, and thank you so much for watching once more.